Hello. Class here. Hades. Right, there are two Poseidon boons to try to get. Let's be go, right? Wait, what spear is this? Zagreus spear. Right, because there are hammers to get too. What's the worst that could happen? My weapon's hidden talents. Well. <laughs> Our special with the aspect of Zagreus is a nice thing to make better. Nice of them to line up. Eh, Poseidon will come back. He's forced right now. Fine. This one also looks fine. Death strike damage versus max HP. I mean, we gotta deal damage, right? This way. She was your mother all along. Just disappeared up here one day. Ran off, I figured. And she's got some mortal blood in her. But she was with your father. That rascal is my brother after all. Still getting people talking about that. Alright, so wanna double check prerequisites. So this requires the call. This requires literally any main boon and also typhoon's fury or breaking wave so that just you need a source of knockback before you can enhance your knockback what's breaking wave where's breaking wave oh wait that one's breaking wave Typhoon's Fury is what I should have been looking for. Okay. So yeah, it's both... Well, I guess I say both enhancements to knockbacks, but this is also an enhancement to knockbacks. But wave pounding doesn't count, huh? Alright. Uh, well, I don't see the call here. So I took the attack, because having an attack is neat. Okay, yeah. Finally an armored enemy to use our uh, massive damage versus armor on. Would look even cooler if I actually had a boon on my special. Ow. someday. You could meet Callisto and the others. It's quite beautiful and green and calm. It's... Anyway. So yeah, knocked off the... Ooh, a special boon. Knocked off the armor while we were dealing a lot of extra damage to armor with our special. And then just to summon to finish the enemy off.
Yeah, that is a lot better with a boon on it. <laughs> Imagine. We almost have more dash strike damage. The curse of chaos has been lifted. There it is, in fact. Don't think we need more gold right now. Not willing to do a uh, trove for it anyway. I think if it was darkness, I would have done it. Ow. Just, we have some spare time I could have spent on meta stuff. Getting extra starting rerolls would be neat. Wait, this is not the end shop, it's the mid shop. Uh, I'll actually go this way. They're making me choose. Stack the Hunter Dash with the Chaos Spoon? I know. Poseidon's is so much better, though. Probably. We get Hunter's Mark. A word of caution, little nephew. Never turn your back against the sea. And while you're at it, never take up sides against your greatest uncle. I went Artemis first, hoping to fill my cast slot. Because that would make it more likely to get a call. Ow. Yeah, that's where the wave is. Ow. Barely didn't go on the trap. Back there, water under the bridge. What say you, nephew? Sure. All right. Um. I think title dash is the best thing here, but wait a minute. None of these. <laughs> For a second, I was like, oh yeah, wave pounding. We can get the legend. No, that doesn't work. So we will take the dash. Wait, was there? I'm not sure if I just heard the fish present sound. Bring it. Music's been heard up in Asphodel lately, Prince. From the sound of it, why, I think that has got to be Eurydice and Orpheus. I'm surprised he's had so much to say. He's just now getting around. Quickly, Sisyphus. Orpheus is reunited with his muse at last. Or at least he gets to visit on the regular when he isn't busy at my father's house. So you've heard of them, have you? Yeah, getting around to saying this. Oh, I've more than heard of them. I'm sure you know how Orpheus once ventured all the way down here after Eurydice passed on. I'll never forget his song. Even the Fury sisters gave me a break. They were so captivated by it then. Ah, good times. For me, at least. Certainly, Highness. Oh, thank you. I mean, maybe I should have taken money. I feel like I'm taking... The, um... Medium heat levels, you know, like 15. Not very seriously anymore, but I probably should. Finally, you're back. You won't get past me like you did last time. Though I would like to see you try. Ow. 
first damage taken in the fight. It's always that attack, isn't it? Ow. <laughs> and always right at the start. It's like I get surprised by the fact that attack is going on. Oh, there must have been a normal enemy that shoots. Yeah, it just keeps coming from over there. I missed. I've probably done this fight way faster if I just like dashed on her a lot or something. No. Uh, maybe not. I did get a good number of crits. Well, it's been lovely. My life was shuddered at the touch of it. And imagine walking out of the Fury fight with more than half your health. I'll just Next keep the shell on. Fidel. We want Poseidon Boons, <laughs> and boosting their rarity doesn't sound terrible. Also, I might just keep it on in case it ends up being a prerequisite for the fishing legendary, although that's not the legendary we're really looking for. I think if I was given a choice between fulfilling my legendary prerequisite and getting a call, I would take the legendary prerequisite. Because the legendary would be more annoying to get in another run. I take Poseidon's call pretty often when Poseidon actually comes up in a run and offers it. Throwing the spear just feels so much safer when I'm not about to rush to it. Lady Artemis. Uh, don't want the call. Do you want to fill in the cast? Time to hunt. Whoa. Are we gonna get all the friends this run? Should I just lose all my death defies this act? Welcome back. Hey, did Orpheus really used to have curls and something called a tan? I've only ever seen him looking, well, how he does now. He did. And a tan is like, well, when you stay out in the hot sun up there long enough, your skin kind of starts to bake a little bit. But nicer than that sounds. Gotta say, though, the years have been kind to Orphe, don't you think? Sure. Um... I think this is Love Ups. It'll be my pleasure. Cheers. Till next time. Well, see ya. I don't know, maybe future rarity was better. There's an Erebus. It's funny, I want Poseidon for the, uh... Faded choices we're trying to get this run, but that, <laughs> but our Artemis is carrying the run. I'm in. Because I got Artemis on the thing, my aspect increases, and I like playing into my aspect. a lot of armor. You can't hit stun somebody with armor. I 
Oh, but not a lot of actual health. Interesting. Quick, I'll give you that. Uh, none of those is Poseidon. Take some Hermes then. <laughs> Remember, I could knock him back because I do have Poseidon. In fact, oh man, he didn't stay in the lava. Or magma. Is that gonna be as much of a meme as saying day or night? Amusingly, I think every time I've had the spear return to me except one, I've actually hit my attack button instead of my special button, because that's what you have to do with the um aspect of Achilles. Out of all special delivery recipients I've had over the ages here, I've got to say you're the most interesting one. Of course, the reason I don't just play the aspect of Achilles like this is it doesn't deal 25% extra damage, have 25% extra range, and 25% extra speed. Special is faster, huh? Yeah, we'll take that. Hmm. Don't really need that life essence very much, do I? I can just send my spear through all their projectiles and the projectiles get destroyed. It's pretty convenient for fighting this enemy type at long range. Oh, <laughs> you just don't get to do anything. Now multiple of them from multiple angles. That's an end shop. I'm just gonna take the palm for free. Tower of Olympus. Special level up. Got some zest. Next island. A little surprised we haven't been offered a call by now. Just gonna mash the special button instead of continuing for to do memes that you can't even see. <laughs> Doesn't matter to anyone but me whether I am hitting <laughs> special or attack. <laughs> If I'm not sure whether I have my spear, though, hitting attack does make sure I'm not gonna throw it, which means I'm gonna spend less time if it's... I might stab instead of doing a recall, but I'm not gonna throw it. how many of her in a row we're gonna come down like that. Ow. Starting to take some damage now that there are like seven heads out here. Or er, six? How many are there? I feel like I should know that by now. Only been like 80 episodes after I had already played 100 hours of this game. Oh, the only target was invincible. Nope. 
reconstitute again. I'm glad they don't leave the prizes where the boss dies for this one. <laughs> Had enough for now, I presume. It would be over the lava so much. Huh. Oh yeah, I w was thinking like, man, if Skeletal Lure and a Chaos Portal were, were in here, but no, the the fishing point would just end up in the first room of Elysium, not the Chaos. I was actually thinking of re-rolling for a uh, make Chaos appear thing. Yeah, then. Yeah, let's just grab those. Feeling confident enough to even buy some gems. I have one thing and it's good. <laughs> I throw the spear. The spear come back. Time to pick a fight. Um, could use more hit points. Getting the hit points from Erebus was really nice, but about now, a bit more would be nice. non-butterfly ball enemies. Oh, slowly making their way over here because they haven't located me yet. <laughs> I think if I actually got behind him and stabbed him, that would be way faster compared to only landing every other attack. versus palm choice again. Wouldn't mind seeing some boons. Our special's already level three. Flame wheels. I mean, it would be nice if we like one shot a flame wheel while the spear was going out, but we're actually like pretty far from that. I think just one or two level ups wouldn't even do it. Unless we crit, of course. In which case, it's already doing that. But yeah, the non-crit damage, I don't think it scales that well with levels. Could be wrong. Feels like a weird aspect of Hestia run. That's better. I think if one of those was Poseidon, I might have gone for it. Let's go make fun of Even though we need a lot of Erebus gates for the Codex. Let's see if you're as skillful as you think. Oh wow! Oh, already gotten hit. Already. Armored Chariots plus Butterfly Ball, huh? <laughs> and it's not even like the whole thing. I don't know, maybe I should have nuked the Butterfly Ball with a summon? I didn't even summon an Act 2. Ever won an Erebus Gate in Elysium? It's just so hard at this point. The enemies are still coming. I want to hit the thing that's marked so I can get marked on something else because it's more likely to crit. An onion you shall have. Wait, did it not actually... 
Does getting hit by butterflies not ruin the challenge? I thought I'd already failed it. But then he didn't comment until that point. Thank you for this. Uh, I don't want the call because we want Poseidon's call. You, what you have just done is tantamount to spitting in my face. Let me remind you then, the ocean can spit back. He won't stand for this. Anyway, I think I did still need onions for the codex. And like, we got our Elysium, you don't need to succeed. Oh, dodge the wave, of course. Oh yeah, I should like put my casts and things for boiling blood. Boiling blood does affect special damage. What can I say, nephew? Sometimes our tempers get the best of all of us. Your fortunate mind didn't get the best of you back there. I either re-roll or I take Ocean's Bounty for the possible fishing legendary. Any other boons for me? There's the call. There's Breaking Wave. I will take Breaking Wave. Felt that. dash and slam something into a barrier, it deals big damage. This might be the earliest I've had Breaking Wave. I feel like I always get it when I'm already in uh, Temple of Sticks, if I get it at all. all set. I think darkness. Maybe while they have armor, I should still be throwing at them. slam damage can crit if they're marked or if I had pressure points sometimes I should probably just push them with my attack instead of uh, dashing at them why did I throw my spear there I love when I dash and they just get absolutely slammed against the wall twice. I guess it's two dashes, it's not when I dash. It's when I use my dashes. Plural. 690 combo just by dashing twice. <sighs> this is such a funny boon. on the one that was actively reforming before finishing off the one that had been knocked out away from its weapon. Oh, 
Oh wow, that archer's not elite. Thought everything these days was elite. Oh, come on, just go into the wall. Yeah, there we go. Tons of damage. The tiny rooms in Temple of Sticks are gonna be easy. Oh, I can't knock the butterfly balls around. <laughs> At least I don't think so? If I can, they certainly don't go very far. Hmm, three butterfly balls make a lot of butterflies. Lined up. Nice crits. I think... I consumed at least two marks there. And my build still doesn't feel as strong as it did when I was just in Keep me going for a bit. Uh, the previous area. Uh, Asphodel. I mean, when I do that kind of combo and they just hit the wall two or three times in a row, it certainly feels strong, but... I don't think these things can make each other invincible. Are there other enemies, or were they both supporting that one chariot that I, like, deleted immediately? got going with the knocking things into walls doesn't work at all against bosses Much better. should be useful looking for out uh, didn't get current HP boom got better, huh? uh, kill or be well I spent everything I could to make this boss fight easier Yeah, even when he just collided with the wall due to his rush at you attack. Um, dashing near him didn't slam him into it. He's completely immune to knockbacks. dash back in time, I think. Yeah, there wasn't health in the shop, and I kind of expected I needed there to be if I wasn't going to use a death to fight here. I think as long as I don't use another, the run still looks really good. the extreme measures version of the fight though. That extra backstab damage I bought is doing a lot. Considering 
either on the way out or the way back, our special tends to backstab at least once. I mean, sometimes they turn around at a certain timing and you either backstab one or ah, zero or two times. But I feel like the common case is one backstab. Honestly, getting some... Uh... Oh, what's her name? Can't think while I'm fighting the Minotaur. Oh, I lost another gut fight. Still, I have a ton of money. Just didn't... Yeah, shops kept being up against things I didn't want to ignore. And so I didn't spend my money productively throughout the run. I guess also there just like weren't a ton of wells. I don't know. Anyway, we're still fine. Now, if, if I was in this condition and had like 31 coins, I'd be like, oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, we also didn't get the... the last friend room. Which could have been a ton of healing. Wow, I spent a lot of time in Elysium. I guess I was saying I felt like I was maybe oop, not as strong relative to where I should be compared to the last biome. Yeah, compared to nine minutes per biome, we lost like four minutes there. Hope you enjoyed the show. I think I... Do I leave this on? There might not even be any Poseidon. Um... Could raise the chance of the legendary by taking the aid out of the boon pool. See, I have a couple of rerolls, right? Yeah, I could reroll twice if there is a Poseidon available. What's in here? Hmm. <laughs> Obviously not the pierced butterfly. I'll take Lucky Tooth. So close. It's another keepsake that needs to become level 3. I guess I already have the achievement from my main file for getting every keepsake to level 3. I hope it's nicer outside than it is in here. There's no Poseidon down there. Could take the anvil. There's no Poseidon up here. Should stock up for the road ahead. Reach a uh, prophecy fulfilled. Chain skewer serrated point. Dash strike hits three times, but dash has minus twenty five percent range. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Hello. And then chain skewer. Yeah, this is gonna be really fun in here. Having my dash strike hit three times. Wall slam, wall slam. Not now. <sighs> Lucky tooth rank up. All right, so hopefully we end up seeing some wells, maybe get some deftifieds back. And then as far as the faded choices we wanted for Poseidon, game said no. But at least we got the, uh, the hammer, which is probably harder to get than the legendary. The 
get some chain skewers in there. And this larger room, the thing we were doing is a little less effective. Yeah, Chain Skewer is especially cool with marking. Because every time you throw it out, you're like using up the mark and then hitting something else with it, most likely. Um... Wait, did I really only have two gods in my god pool before getting the Ares that was in the last shop? Or, well, the the end Elysium shop. Because I don't think I already have Aphrodite. Also, what doorway did I just go down? What was in it? Was it a palm? That's the opposite of a well, sort of. Doesn't help me. Oh, the sack already. Olympus, I accept this message. Greatest reflex, huh? Oh, good. It's still fresh. I think I'm gonna take another door. Now for a chat with servers. I need to find a well of Charon. And then re-roll it. Just get like so many buffs, maybe a death defied. Which tunnel? Little concerned about time and HP, of course. Those are resources we're spending here. Well, unless I do all the rooms perfectly, then we're just spending time. Like the other branches, though, the end room. Well, I guess the end room of the second branch wasn't very scary at all. It was a sack. Yeah, this isn't gonna look nearly as good once we actually get to the end of the hallway and I don't have walls literally everywhere. Activates off of cornered, but flying enemies don't get cornered by gaps. Oh, uh. Poison by the trap of all things. Delicious. <laughs> Breaking wave isn't gonna be good against the boss. Extra blessing. Alright, I spent an entire minute on that, basically. Didn't get much of anything. <laughs> Another of the red ones. You'd see some purple in one of these rooms. I think if I get it, it'll be. Oh yeah, there we go. I think this will be worth it. It's no use. Uh, I'll just take this one. You're not gonna show me a death defied though? Alright, that could have been way stronger. Still, we got some attack up. I go seeking out another one. My buffs will wear off and we don't have rerolls.
Once more, you've graced me with your presence and your favor, which inspire the best from me. Let this modest gift of ambrosia signify I'm forever in your debt. My little godling, I'd say you've honored me more times than I could count, but that would be a lie now, wouldn't it? I so admire your devotion and your perseverance. If ever you do reach us on Olympus, I should very much enjoy getting to know you even better then. Why, something's changed about the beating of your heart, dearest. Oh, it's the little Gorgon, isn't it? You underworld dwellers and your complicated feelings. I can never get enough. My blessings to the both of you then, hmm? She already commented on Dusa for the... Um... Oh, I should take Demeter here. Here's the fee. Not rare crop. Uh, because I have family favorite. So this will be a damage up just because I'm getting a boon from another god. Uh, Snowburst seems fine. God's grant me strength. All right. The prince persuades the underworld's ferocious guardian to move aside. See you I'm definitely concerned about how this will go. Um, I think all the various skulls he summons, though, will be able to drop health if I happen to actually kill them. <laughs> also, the enemies. Got here as quickly as I could. There's a fish. I gotta win this. Last, but you're persistent even now. Though let us see how strong you are as well. What's now, wrong, boy? Uh, getting hit by every attack isn't a good way to win this. Shortened dashes from the anvil. I trust you're having a most pleasant evening, boy. Quite lovely, father. How about yourself? Silence. Got one snack drop. Kill the thing. Darkness. Darkness. I think I'm doing fine on time for the battle. Both time and HP are a little worrying. Oh yeah, I... Need to remember to activate Boiling Blood. Yep. 
this on yourself. Uh, yeah, I think it's basically over. <laughs> Oh, couldn't kill it in time. Yeah, that build was just terrible. <laughs> it had a few specific things it could do okay. Oh, father. I guess also, you know, that one well didn't cooperate. I think that I can find the lounge well on my own, Hypnos. Oh, wait. What is this? Did you just ask me out? Me? No, 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 no. I'd never even think to do that, miss. I mean, you have your station, and I have mine. We're from two different worlds, you could say. Fated never to be seen together much. Every time I talk to you, you somehow take it as a compliment. Is that correct? Then let me give you some advice for once. Stop being an idiot. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Alas. Oh yeah, no... What's his name? Thanatos. Look at what I caught, Chef. So, uh, yeah, that's why I don't build Poseidon usually. <laughs> the prophecy has been fulfilled. For Arthur, has there ever been a greater spear? All right, um, let's go for a different legendary boon. Maybe Zeus? And let's use the bow. I think I'll try this one. Go on, boy, I'll shoot me. Let's see you do it. So let's see, Zeus's legendary... Storm Lightning, High Voltage, Double Strike. So, Chain Lightning effect bounces, Double Strike is Lightning Strikes, High Voltage is Lightning Strikes as well. So that requires the attack or the cast. Those are the two things that are Chain Lightning. This requires the special, the call, Oh, the the other cast on the Shield of Beowulf, or the dash I skipped over. So yeah, everything that's a lightning strike. Uh, this is the same. Okay. So just any lightning fulfills the requirement to get a tier 2 boon that then fulfills the requirement for legendaries. That's a pretty common pattern. Main boon, thing that enhances main boon, usually related to the unique part of the main boon. Anyway, saving my game. That'll be it for this part. See ya.